like most materials in Status Factory. There are little nodes scattered throughout the planet that you can mine with your hand tool. Here we have raw quartz. To unlock the quartz technology, you need to unlock the milestone in the hub by scanning the quartz in the MAM scanner. You need at least 25 raw quartz to do this. Once the MAM scanner has completed, you will unlock a new milestone for tier 4. This type of quartz possesses optimal piezoelectric properties and can be utilized to create oscillators and silicon which are used in a variety of appliances. A new milestone has been added to tier 4. Additional research required. Unlocking this milestone will allow you to scan for quartz nodes that can then be mined and transformed into quartz crystals. You will also unlock the map for the game quartz crystal and crystal oscillator blueprints as well as a new vehicle called the Explorer. To unlock this milestone you need 100 modular frames, 15 beacons, 100 rotors and 10 motors. Exploration based technology unlocked. Quartz based parts accessible along with a map of your Fixit approved designated zone in need of charting. The new vehicle is aimed at efficient travel speed and all terrain handling. Once you have found a quartz node, place an MK miner on it and feed the raw quartz into a constructor to form quartz crystals. Two raw quartz makes one quartz crystal. You can then use conveyors, motor vehicles or trains to transport the resources where you need them to go. I placed the quartz crystals in a storage container because I will be adding the train station here. In order to make the explorer vehicle I will require a new resource called the Crystal Oscillator. Five of them to be exact. These require 10 quartz crystals, 14 cables and 4 reinforced steel plates. You will also need 5 heavy modular frames, 5 motors and 15 beacons to craft the Explorer. It's way faster and agile than the truck or tractor but only has 25 inventory slots for storage. And there we have the raw quartz into quartz crystal production. The crystal oscillators also need to be researched using the MAM scanner and you will need 10 of them. These particular quartz based crystal oscillators are optimal for limited radar technology. R&D has provided a new milestone in tier 5 with a derived building. This will unlock a new milestone in tier 5 and you can also access the map using the Z key and it will show you all the beacons, vehicles and your hub with live locations. The new unlock in tier 5 unlocks the radar technology milestone and consists of the radar tower and once placed and powered will uncover portions of the map that have not yet been explored. Radar technology unlocked. The radar tower automatically charts and updates the map of your Fixit approved designated zone in a radius dependent on its height. Initial charting takes a variable amount of time. The tower itself will cost 5 heavy modular frames, 15 oscillators, 10 beacons and 50 wire to craft. And the higher the tower is placed, the more effective it is. The radar will scan and unlock areas of the map 
over a period of time over a certain radius. So multiple towers are recommended. You are also able to convert raw quartz into silica, but that will be covered in a later video. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel.